Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ikea. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. So today's video is all about cupcakes. First of all, who doesn't like cupcakes? Second of all, the cupcakes that I'm referring to are the ones from the House of Siage. So I recently became an owner of the House of Siage perfumes. I've been a fan of their perfumes for a very long time and I finally got my hands on some of their fragrances. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all my House of Siage collection. So let's go ahead and get started. So House of Siage has been slowly becoming my favorite niche house. I am just a huge fan of their fragrances and I just love the whole experience of purchasing one of their perfumes from the packaging to the presentation. Everything is so phenomenal and I absolutely love it. So I ended up getting four perfumes from the House of Siage. Um, over the past few months, I didn't purchase them all at the same time, but over the past few months, I have been um, collecting the cupcakes from the House of Siage and they've been having a really great sale lately. I always said that I wasn't gonna get anything from the House of Siage unless they either had a sale or I got it as a gift. And lucky for me, they've been having sales like crazy. I actually think that they're still having a sale going on right now, which is why I wanted to get this video up to share it with you all. In case you are interested in purchasing something from the House of Siage, you can check out their sale while it's still going on. I ended up getting most of my cupcakes half off. And then one of them I actually got for free because they had a special deal going on. If you spend a certain amount of money, then they were giving out a free cupcake and lipstick in an entire set. So I was like, whoa, I have to take advantage of this deal. So that's what I did. And I'm just going to tell you all about the House of Siage in case you're interested or you're a fan like me, then you know that the House of Siage is luxury at its finest. So I'm gonna let you know all the details of the House of Siage, each of the cupcakes that I have, and then I'll also be letting y'all know which ones are on my wish list. So the House of Siage is a niche fragrance house. They mainly focus on fragrances, perfumes, colognes. They have been branching out and they also have candles now. I believe they have throw pillows and now they're creating a makeup line, but they do mainly focus on um, fragrances. The house, the house of Siage is unique because their owner and their main perfumer is actually a woman. And most of the time in the perfume and fragrance industry, most of the main um, owners behind behind most of the houses are typically male. So that's really unique and really awesome that there is a woman, a female owner, and I'm always about supporting female brands. So I just could not wait to get my hands on some of the products from the House of Siage. So I wanna show you the way that I received my package because I just think it's so gorgeous. I only have one in the box, the other ones I kind of taken out of the box. I just wanted to show you what they look like though. So when you first purchase your cupcake, it comes in a box like this. And it has the House of Siage logo on the top and also here. And one thing I love about this packaging is that it's just super sturdy and it really make, they really make sure that your cupcakes are safe while they're being delivered. So the top opens right here. And then there's also a flap in the front which holds your cupcake. So also included in the box, there is a certification card just certifying that you have an authentic cupcake from the House of Siage. And they also have a cloth so that you can keep your um, bottle nice and clean. So that's really nice. I like that. So inside the box is where you will find the beautiful and gorgeous cupcake from the House of Siage. Depending on what cupcake you get, then you will see a different color. 
this one just so happens to be tiara and something that's super unique about the house of siage is that each of their cupcakes are adorned with Swarovski crystals so there are actually 158 handcrafted Swarovski crystals on the tops So honestly the close-up and on camera it doesn't do the crystals and the packaging justice because these bottles are phenomenal they're like nothing I've ever seen before and they're just absolutely stunning and perfect to have if you are a perfume collector so we're just gonna go ahead and get into the fragrances and since I have tiara right here we're gonna start off with tiara so Tiara is described as a luxurious and mesmerizing fragrance inspired by the elegance and regality of the magnetic female aura. This sumptuous fragrance is infused with rare and delicate florals which are blended in sweet notes of Madagascar vanilla to stimulate the, the magical and irresistible essence of a stunning and sophisticated woman. So in the notes of Tiara, there is tangerine and cinnamon as the top notes. In the heart, there is rose oil and peony. And then at the base, there's vanilla and musk. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So I love Tiara. I think that this is a really nice, soft and delicate fragrance. This is definitely what I would describe as a princess. And I've seen other people describe Tiara as a princess as well, because that's what I would think about. Like if I saw someone who was a princess in my mind, I guess if I think of a princess, I would imagine them wearing something like Tiara. It's very soft. It's very delicate. It's also very feminine. To me, I get powdery notes in here and the musk really stands out. I actually don't really smell cinnamon in here, even though that is a top note. I really get the musk and it does smell powdery to me, but I do like Tiara a lot. I think that this one is great and safe as a blind buy because it's very subtle, it's very soft, it's not over the top and it doesn't like, it's not overwhelming, but it's still a very nice scent. Um, if you're into fragrances that are just light, airy, but still very feminine, then I think that Tiara would be really great for you. Again, I think that this is definitely great as a blind buy. And if, you, if you're not familiar with the brand, but you still want to try something from them, Tiara is a very safe option. So the next fragrance we have is Benevolence. And it is so beautiful. It has a gold top and it has like this orange kind of caramelish color as the juice color. So this is what Benevolence looks like. And one thing I forgot to mention, at the top of all of the House of Siage fragrances, there is the name of the fragrance engraved which is also really nice. I like that nice detail that they added. So this one, of course, says House of Siage Benevolence. So let's get into the details of this fragrance. So Benevolence symbolizes the sacred essence of comfort and tenderness with Tunisian almond oil and Madagascar vanilla, blended with fresh and floral notes of orange blossoms, adorned with bright golden angles, this fragrance brings about the promise of security, hope, and endless compassion. Okay, so um, the top notes in Benevolence are almond oil and bergamot. In the heart, there is orange blossom and jasmine. And at the base, there is vanilla and sugar. Mmm. I love Benevolence. I love Benevolence so so much when you first smell this in the opening you get that blast of orange blossom the sugar and the vanilla and it smells so good together it's blended perfectly 
and I just really love the sweetness of this fragrance. Now a lot of people say that this reminds them of Killian's Love Don't Be Shy and I'll be honest it actually does remind me of Killian's Love Don't Be Shy but this is just a little bit fresher and it's lighter. It's not as heavy as Love Don't Be Shy. I think that this one is great for the daytime. It's perfect for spring and actually really any time of the year but it's really great for the daytime it's nice and sweet but not overpowering it smells amazing i really do love this fragrance a lot this is actually one of my favorite fragrances from the house of siage i just think the way that this is blended together is just so nice i'm into sugary warm vanilla fragrances so this is right up my alley um, if you're into warm fragrances as well on Borderline of Gourmand, then I think that you would like this. Again, it is very similar to Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, but this has more hints of fruit, more sweetness, but it's not as warm. It's not as deep as Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. The sillage on this is really good. I wore this one time and it lasted me all day. I wore it on my clothes and then I put it on my skin as well and it lasted about maybe six to eight hours. So I think the sillage is great on this. The projection is really nice and I received quite a few compliments when I had this on. So I like to think that this is a great fragrance. Again, I would probably recommend wearing this during the day, but of course, fragrance is personal so you can wear it anytime you want. But this is Benevolence from the House of Siash. So the next fragrance we have is Whispers of Enlightenment and this is from the Whispers in the Garden collection. So for perfumes the House of Siash has their signature, signature collection. They have the Whispers in the Garden collection and then they have a few other limited edition perfumes like the, the Mickey Mouse collaboration and they also had one from Wonder Woman. So again this is is Whispers of Enlightenment from the Whispers in the Garden collection and this is so so beautiful. So this is what the packaging looks like. And you can see that there are flowers on this top so it's a little bit different but it also still has those Swarovski crystals as well. So Whispers of Enlightenment is described as incorporating a firm foundation of vetiver and caramel. Whispers of Enlightenment presents genuine elements of peach, rose, and jasmine absolute. With an emotional and intellectual evolution, promises of true happiness and peace are continuously realized. So at the top notes, there's rhubarb, pink pepper, bergamot, peach, and orange. In the heart notes, there's rose, jasmine, absolute, and black currant. And then in the base notes, there's vetiver, patchouli, caramel, solar notes, and moss. Mm. I just love whispers of enlightenment. So if you checked out my recent video, which is my top fragrances for spring, I included whispers of enlightenment. This is like the perfect spring fragrance. You get that blast of peach right in the opening and it lasts the entire life of the fragrance. But you also get vetiver in here and it helps to balance the peach out so it's not like an artificial scent. But y'all, I love this fragrance. I'm obsessed with peach, by the way. Peach is my favorite um, fruit. So this is right up my alley. This is more like a real peach, though. It's not artificial. It smells like a peach that you just picked and you just bit right into it and all the juice came out of it. That's exactly how this smells. And I love this a lot. So I like to describe this fragrance as a very fun and flirtatious fragrance. It's very inviting and alluring. And I think this is for the girl that just likes to have fun, likes to have a good time, doesn't take herself seriously. The one that likes to dance, you know, you can find her on the dance floor and she's like inviting everybody to join her in on the fun. That's what I think of when I smell Whispers of Enlightenment. It's just fun and flirty, but then that vetiver in there kind of helps to balance it out to make it a little bit more serious, but not too serious. 
but it's just a fun fragrance and if you're into fruity fragrances that are kind of green kind of also warm then I think that whispers of enlightenment would be great for you so definitely check this one out if you're interested okay so this last cupcake that I have in my collection is by far my favorite and the bottle is actually my favorite as well it is just so beautiful and gorgeous and this is passion de l'amour so this is what the packaging looks like So the packaging alone just caught my attention. It's so pretty. It looks so tropical. So at the bottom there's green and it kind of is like an ombre and it goes into like a lighter green color even up to yellow and it is just so so beautiful. I love this packaging so much and this is one that I always like to display at the front of my perfume collection because it's definitely an attention getter whenever people look at my collection they're like "Ooh, what's that and they immediately want to smell it and it is just awesome so let me tell y'all the details of Passion de l'Amour so Passions de l'Amour is described as an exotic fragrance that eternalizes a mysterious and passionate reverie of sheer bliss in a hot tropical night in the South Pacific. Alluring and enchanting, Passion de l'Amour evokes an enticing aroma that breezes of vanilla and caramel paired with hints of oud, aromatic bergamot. It's also inspired by I don't know what that word is but it's inspired by an adventure this rich and sumptuous scent represents the universal demand to live life and recreate all of its unforgettable moments so that's passions de l'amour in the notes there's saffron raspberry at the top notes in the heart there is caramel and amorous oil and then in the base notes there is oud there's uh leatrix absolute I'm not really familiar with what Leatrix Absolute is, but I am familiar with Oud. Ooh. This fragrance is good, y'all. This is so, so good. This is very warm and sensual and seductive. When it says tropical, I was like a little concerned because I'm not getting tropical. But then when it said tropical at nighttime, that's when I was like, okay you're onto something. This is something that I would probably wear on the beach at night to like a beach dinner or if you're at a resort or something at nighttime that's what I would wear this as. Even if you're not on the beach it, this is just a nighttime scent. It's very very warm. The oud stands out in this, the caramel stands out, the vanilla stands out. It's sweet but that oud really kicks in and this is actually an introduction to oud for me. This is the only fragrance that I have that has oud in it I believe and it's not super overpowering. I know people say that oud can be very overpowering but this is nice and subtle and it plays in the background. It gives it a nice well-rounded balance so that it's not super super fruity. That oud really really is good and it's nice and soft. So if you're thinking about um, trying out fragrances that have oud in them, I think that this one is a great and safe buy if you are specifically interested in oud. If you don't like oud, then I would probably say that this isn't for you just because you can still smell it in the fragrance. And I'll be honest, when I first smelled this, I was a little taken aback. I was like, this is a little too green for me. It's a little too green. But once I started um, letting it wear on my skin and I wore it more often, I really started to appreciate this fragrance. Again, I think that this is great for the nighttime and I do not get tropical when I think of this unless it's tropical at night. And that's a, another thing that I was like taken aback by because I was thinking it was going to be more fruity. It is not fruity at all to me. It's very warm and sweet and spicy. But if you're into fragrances that are warm and sensual, then I think that Passions de l'Amour is definitely your type. This is very sexy. This is very alluring. This is an attention getter, okay? P 
people will stop and stare and people will ask you what you're wearing because that is what Passions de l'Amour exudes. It exudes like sex appeal. That's what it is. So if you do like um, fragrances as what I described, then I think that this one would be great for you. This is a personal favorite of mine as well. I really enjoy this fragrance along with Benevolence. I like all the fragrances, but Benevolence is great for the daytime and Passions de L'Amour is perfect for nighttime. So again, this is Passions de L'Amour from the House of Siash. Alrighty y'all, so that was my entire collection of the House of Siage cupcakes. I am so impressed with the House of Siage. I really love their fragrances and I'm a huge fan of the entire experience. It just feels so luxurious and I just, I feel like it takes me to a certain place whenever I wear the fragrances, when I first get the packages, I'm just really excited to try them out. So that's everything from the House of Siage. Comment down below though what your favorite fragrance is from the House of Siage or one that you may be interested in. I do have a few others that I'm also interested in. So the next cupcake that I really want to get is, um, I think it's Chauveau d'Or. It's one that has like the um, red top. It's like a ruby color. I want to try that one. I also want to get Cherry Garden and then I also want to get Hotes Bijou. So those are the three that I'm really interested in trying out. But again, comment down below and let me know what your favorite fragrance is from the House of CI. And that is everything y'all. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. You can always check me out on social media. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. My handle is at Ikea Alexis. I'll be sure to link everything down in the description box. I'll also be sure to link all of the fragrances mentioned in this video in the in the description box as well. So that's everything y'all. I hope you have a good one and stay safe. Bye.